scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let me experience the ministry of the Spirit in another dimension Holy Holy Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Holy Holy Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of Elohim Adonai. shield for me my glory the lifter up of my hand but thou O oh Lord art a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my hand my glory the litter up of my head. I know the lion. Ah, I know the lamb. I know the lion. I know the lamb. I worship the lion. I worship the lamb. I worship the lion. Said I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scrolls. And the elder tapped me and said, Weep not, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. We have come because the book is open. I represent the lion. I represent the Lamb I represent the Lion I represent the Lamb I speak for the Lion 
I speak for the Lamb. I speak for the Lion. Speak for the Lamb. Shala bala kata brande gele bala dia. Bless him, his glory is here. Shai Skadanda Shalabrasko Badi Balahas. Shabalada Balako Sade Brandi Dialahas. Majesty, we bless you. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. Ebo is lifting up the name of Jesus. Awesome God. How great thou art. You are mighty are your miracles. Of your holy Lord, we bow. Oh, Lord, you reign forever. Lord, you reign forever. I worship you. Oh, give him that praise. Pour your heart like a drink offering. Lord, you reign. 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 to sing me that song Anansi hallelujah Anansi hallelujah help me Jehovah
hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people be joy. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus. The Son, will you give him the glory? Great things. One more time, my boy is six. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me hear his voice. Jesus. Hallelujah. While standing, I want to start tonight miracle service with an altar call. The messages have been in the songs. There are people here scattered within this theater. There are some of you scattered outside in the overflows. Listening to me scattered all across the cast stands. There are many following online. You just sang that you come to the Father only through Jesus. The Bible says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved listen carefully there are many of you you've been here from the beginning of this conference and the holy ghost has been speaking to you the foundation of a believer's journey is acknowledging the lordship of jesus now this is not some emotional thing there are two categories of people there are those of you who have never made jesus lord of your life you've been around church you are saying, I am tired of my life. It's time to be serious with God. Now, those outside, because of space, we may not allow you to come in, but you will move to your projector screen. For those inside, you are inside here, you are out, you know the Holy Ghost is speaking to you. I will count one to five. Run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. One. Two. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Run to Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Keep coming. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Savior, 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 hear my humble cry. Thou art calling Do not pass me back Jesus is able to give you a new beginning It doesn't matter how things have been He's the son of the living God In Jesus name we must never ignore the need to draw men to Jesus draw me nearer nearer to thee 
My song every day, Father, draw me nearer, draw me nearer. The Bible declares that as many who come to him, he will in no wise cast away. So I salute you, these ones who are here in front, the many who are just in front of the projector screen outside. Whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Lift your right hand to Jesus, the head of the church. And I want you to say this after me. Say it loud and clear. Those outside, lifting your hands. Whether you are at the back, whether you are even outside the road, provided you can hear. And you who are following from whatever nation you're following from, any region across the world provided you can hear you make this decision also say lord jesus i love you with all my heart tonight i declare that i am unable to help myself therefore i ask you to help me i receive the life of God within me I receive the abundance of grace the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life from today and forever I am a child of God Jesus is my Lord my Savior my King I also declare that the power of sin, the power of the grave, the power of Satan is broken over my life. From today, I walk in newness of life. I walk in victory. Forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Congratulations congratulations now thank you all of you who are here i want you to just do me a favor in one minute someone will be waving his hands whoever please wave your hands so they'll see you there is a gentleman waving his hands all of you will just follow that gentleman in concert there should be someone waving his hands outside if there is please those uh, who made the altar call outside just follow that person they will lead you to a group of counselors please be very fast with them so they can come and join the miracle service You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You're the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. in our midst You do want to see in our midst You do want us You do want to see in our midst Faithful God Alleluia You're the faithful God. Don't be tired. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unchangeable God. Changeable. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable. Reliable God. Reliable God. Reliable God. 
1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20. Please be seated. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20. We began to talk about kingdom advance and we've been considering I will build my church for a topic and um, please do well if you've not been here you can get the teachings audio and video you can find them online so that you listen and understand what we have been dealing with we've been examining the body of Christ the spiritual architecture of the construction of the body of Christ Jesus himself said I will build my church and if allowed to build it so I will build it it will be so formidable that the gates of hell will not be able to prevail against it hallelujah we examine three major errors in the body of Christ the error of apostasy deviation from the known patterns of God the error of indifference and selfishness the error of imbalance are we together now and I said that all these three challenges are children that came out of the same mother the mother being lack of discipleship discipleship is the spiritual strategy designed to mature the saints and the cost content for the build-up of believers is called doctrine doctrine is the authorized cost content for the maturity of the believers and any other thing that is outside of the exegesis of sound doctrine will lead to a lopsided believer we did observe that one of the reasons why we have all kinds of imbalances and a plethora of ills across the body is because we are largely teaching opinions or personalized dealings that may only be applicable to a person or an individual hallelujah very very important to understand this and this morning at the morning session which doubled as a pastor's conference we began to explore the fact that men are the spiritual conduits that are sent by God to mature believers God is the builder of the church but he uses gifts called men to bless men so he sends men to men are we together and we began to examine a few spiritual requirements for the kind of man in this end time that God will use to mentor to build to guide and disciple nations number one we said you must have a hunger a desperation and a love for God that is beyond ministry you must love God beyond fasting beyond prayer your motive must be purged must be purified there must be only one motive one drive Jesus revealed Jesus glorified that everything outside of that becomes a corruption your motive and a false inspiration to the activities that you do no matter how right no matter how correct are we together number two that you must submit yourself to accurate spiritual understanding Colossians 1 verse 9 Paul was mentoring the church in Colossae and he began to pray to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant them three dimensions of spiritual knowledge number one that they will be filled with the knowledge of his will number two that they will be filled in all dimensions of wisdom and then number three that they will be filled with spiritual understanding praise the Lord I'm praying tonight that we'll be able to walk with the media media the Lord help us all together in Jesus name so that when it's time to project we can do that fast and on time hallelujah and then number three the third requirement is that we must trust God to our own personal transformation to be models territorial transformation is difficult until there are sufficient models men and women who model the dimensions we seek for the body to come into are we together oftentimes God will refer men to men who understudy their lives as a reference Abraham for instance is God's idea of walking in the blessing 
so every time you seek to walk in the blessing he refers you to a personality called abraham look unto abraham your father he says and to sarah that body for i called him and i blessed him and i increased him so if you want god's idea of prosperity there is an individual who personifies it are we together now there is an individual who personifies hunger that leads to encounters is the man called jacob so when you want to seek god passionately and acceptably he refers you to a model genesis 28 genesis 32 psalm 24 this is the generation of them that seek thee oh jacob so if i need to encounter god how do i press for him so that i don't get into occultism i don't get into all kinds of demonic things you use the model of the man who he has recommended when it has to do with the ministry of accurate prayer that brings territorial transformation there is an individual who models it elijah the bible says james chapter 5 when you begin to read from verse 13 it says if any man afflicted let him pray then it says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous the bible declares that it avails much it does not stop there it now says elijah was a man of like passion that means you follow the pathway and the protocol that elijah created you will get his kind of result are we together when it has to do with worship there is an individual that personifies genuine worship the woman with the alabaster box jesus himself commended her more than her approach to worship because the bible says she brought of a uh, perfume of pure nerd and the bible says it was a year's wages and broke it not just poured it she broke it at his feet and used her hair which is the glory of the woman to wash his feet and jesus said for this act everywhere i am mentioned this woman would not be ignored so you see that territorial transformation cannot happen until there are accurate models accurate references that reflect god's idea there should be a man of god in a boy state that reflects genuine kingdom prosperity without pride and without prejudice so that everybody who wants to prosper god can make reference and say this man you see how blessed he is yet his heart is still inclined to me even as thy soul prospers there must be someone in this city that represents god's idea of accurate administration of the prophetic office so that god is able to make reference you read the bible and they say the church in pergamos the church in philadelphia the church in smyrna the church in ephesus these were lampstands these were models that reflected god's idea until we have individuals that personify god's idea on several aspects of the kingdom it will be difficult to have people corporately transform are we together when we say you are a professor maybe of medicine and surgery or you're a professor of something that man is a model within that city or within that field every other person who will and should become a professor will have to at one time or the other make reference to him by reason of his standing he knows the protocol and the observables the things that must be observed to be able to earn that title this is how it must be there must be men and women who model accurate apostolic ministry there must be men and women who model accurate intercessory ministry once we find all kinds of opinions 10 prophets that look like 10 different people 10 apostles that look like 10 different people 10 evangelists that look like 10 different people it becomes difficult for the younger generation to find worthy references we may not all be the same but foundationally if it is one lord and one faith and one baptism there must be similarity are we together so we preserve the heritage of the workings of god in this land by having sufficient models sufficient models there must be men and women 
who become models of excellence in governance some of you here probably are politicians you can trust god for grace to be an excellent model that by the time you are done in office whatever capacity you serve people can make reference to you and say when we are talking about quality leadership and a disciplined a disciplined individual we can make reference to this some of you can model excellence say in the academics so that the younger generation can find a reference that men can be sound they can have very exceptional levels of intellectual prowess and yet they can be godly and they can be powerful are we together praise the name of the lord but let's go to our text tonight chapter 4 and verse 20 first corinthians first corinthians for the kingdom of god the manifestation of kingdom of the kingdom of god is not in word but in power this is a kingdom of power this is not just a kingdom of speech and speaking and theoretical communications the god that we serve is a god whose love can be proven the god that we serve is a god whose words can be proven the god that we serve is a god whose power can be proven and for as long as our christian experience stops at the realm of just communication alone as powerful as that is there will be a big deficiency as far as the accurate representation of god is concerned there must be a dimension of god's power that will be allowed to be revealed territorially speaking and when i talk about the power of god i'm not just talking of falling down and standing up i'm talking of lives transformed by reason of the administration of spiritual power the forces that tie the destinies of men down are we together that there is no week where there is no notable manifestation of god's power in this city while you're trying to manage to manage one testimony by the next week another one has come to the point that god becomes a discussion everywhere whether in the beer parlor whether in the school you institutionalize and you plant god consciousness in the hearts of the people our generation today is not a generation of stories our generation is a generation of proofs people want to see that something works when you tell me that this is a phone this is a gadget most people will ask you give me guarantee if it does not work i will return your gadget and you will return my money back this is not the generation that will blindly follow for nothing with no results no there is a hungry and a thirsty people the sick want to know that god heals the oppressed want to know that god delivers the lost want to know that god saves the downtrodden want to know that god lifts the backsliding want to know that god restores and this is our assignment that whilst we go around the nations of the earth revealing jesus there must be proof that he's alive that is what it means to be called a witness john chapter 1 from verse 6 and 7 there was a man sent from god not sent from the east men of god hear me it is true that territorially speaking you come from the east but you come from god you only pass through the east there was a man your origin cannot stop at the womb of a woman it must go right to abba the source and the sustainer of all things there was a man sent from god john 1 from verse 6 to 7 the bible says his name was john then the next verse says the same came for a witness that he may bear witness to the truth that through him through his witness now all men might believe through the witness of the men and the women in this city through the witness of the believers in this city all men might believe are we together Matthew 
chapter 10. We'll read verse 1, then we'll jump to verse 7. Matthew chapter 10. Having mentored the disciples for a while, it was time for Jesus to test run and find out the efficiency to find out whether they were really getting the things that he was teaching them chapter 10 and verse 1 and when he had called unto himself the 12 disciples he gave them power someone shout power wow so power can be given and you can collect it and know you have collected something you did not once have listen to me just because it is intangible does not mean it is unreal power is transferable he gave them power if i give you one thousand naira you hold one thousand naira that you did not have you can know you have it power is a commodity in the spirit that can be given a man can hold it knowing i did not have this yesterday but i have it now he gave them power please keep that scripture there against unclean spirits you know what that means the power was designed to sit quietly when it finds everything that supports god but the moment it finds anything that does not support god immediately the power was auto designed to not rest anytime it sees what is not god so provided it finds the purposes and the patterns of god in place the power will just be silent as if it's not there but when it finds evil when he finds the presence of spirits power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease a disease is any condition that creates discomfort it's not just bodily ailment poverty is a disease ignorance is a disease is that true power to heal disease do you know that the spirit of revelation is power to heal disease the disease of ignorance verse 7 same chapter matthew 10 7 and as ye go a boy in state as you go declare saying the influence the culture of heaven is now within your territory next verse but don't just speak alone because men will not believe you so prove the reality of that kingdom by healing the sick prove the reality of that kingdom by cleansing the lepers prove the reality of that kingdom by raising the dead Prove the reality of that kingdom by casting out devils and here's what he says don't miss the power you received it free be lavish in dispensing that power freely you have received freely give this is very powerful savior he can move a mountain my god is mighty to save you are mighty to save forever the offer of salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus conquered the grave this one is a message is a song but while you are saying it the oppressor are just listening to you speaking special number until they watch a spirit that has tied a family for 10 years for 20 years if that spirit responds to your song then you are powerful savior he can move the mountains hold on there are many mountains so oh. there are mountains that stand before families stand before zerubbabels they have prayed they have fasted some of them are gathered here tonight hoping the mountain refused to move when your father pushed it until he died the mountain refused to move when your elder ones pushed it but hallelujah you are in this conference tonight there is a god that moves mountains 
Oh yes, there is a God that moves mountains. My God is mighty to say. Hold on. Because salvation requires more than sincerity. Salvation requires might and power. Salvation requires warding of the forces that keep people down. So you say he is mighty to save. Not just passionate to save. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He rose and conquered the grave. He conquered the grave. He rose and conquered my shame. He conquered my shame. He conquered my pain. He conquered my pain. He conquered my shame. Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. Forever, the author of salvation. The grave is not only where dead people are kept the grave is where dreams are kept the grave is where visions are kept the grave is also where satan can manipulate mantles and hide where was elisha's mantle found the grave the grave is what stops transference of graces somebody would have carried that grace but someone went to the grave with it so when you said he conquered the grave it's not just resurrection of dead bodies resurrection of dreams oh man of god resurrection of the prophecy that, that you saw when you started ministry that the devil wants to rubbish your reputation as though god did not call you hear me there are some of you seated here you are sincerely called but there are forces that have sat on your oil that your voice will not speak and it looks as though God did not call you no increase no growth no impact he rose and conquered the grave he conquered the grave he rose and conquered the grave he rose and conquered the grave prophesy to yourself Heroes and <laughs> hear me. The Bible says, Though weeping and just for a night, provided you are around darkness, tears will not stop. When God wants to lift you, He will turn your night to day. It says, Jacob wrestled with Him in the night, and He says, Leave me for the day, break it. He said, I will not let you go until you bless me. Then He says, What is your name? He says Jacob a cheat and a supplanter he says thou shall no longer be called Jacob but Israel for as a prince you have had power with God and prevailed the Bible says he touched the whole of his thigh he blessed him the son arose and he called the name Peniel the face of God I have seen God face to face he says and my life is preserved someone pray turn my night today turn it into a prayer Turn my night in ministry. Turn my night in this city. Triumphant over the grave. Turn my night today in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Hallelujah. Now, please look at me. I'm about to pray shortly. Please look at me. Whilst it is true that we do not serve God just for miracles, 
we do not serve God and we do not love God and we do not seek God just for signs wonders prosperity increase however in the dealings of God with men he is benevolent enough to make sure that while you seek him because you love him he will not allow tears and shame hang around you while you seek him there is a provision in the economy of God when he can show up as a mighty one and bring deliverance and bring transformation my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by he that told you have asked for nothing he says ask that you might receive to the end that your joy may be fulfilled listen you don't need results to have joy but you need results to have the fullness of joy acts chapter 8 last scripture and we begin to pray please give us acts chapter 8 from verse 1 i sense the power of god very strongly here now Just help those under the anointing. Let's read from verse 4 for the sake of time. The Bible says, Therefore, the apostles now, they were scattered abroad and went everywhere preaching the word next verse please they went preaching the word do not forget we're reading down to verse 8 and then philip happened to go down to a state just like a boy state and the bible says when he arrived he preached christ unto them next verse and the people with one accord like you are doing gave heed unto the things which Joshua Selman spake hearing and seeing everybody say hearing and seeing if it is the gospel you don't only hear you hear and you see hearing and seeing the miracles which he did what were the miracles next verse for unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many that were taken with palsies and many that came lame were healed the result may this be the result in a boy's state verse 8 and there was great joy great joy that the oppressed were he delivered great joy that men of God now contacted new fire great joy that the purposes of the kingdom is now being established listen I'm about to minister to people now I had a vision and in that vision I was carried to a city sensitive now and when i was in that city it was dark like a curfew you know how a curfew is nobody outside but then i noticed there were a group of people who were scattered around they were very sick very oppressed some of them were at the point of death and i was looking i was broken and i was wondering no doctor nobody I was searching around and said these people cannot die like this then i heard the voice of god and he spoke to me go and to heal them and to lift them and he has honored himself every day everywhere 
regardless the condition the Jesus we preach about is not the one who gives testimonies yesterday preachers be careful when all the testimony you give is all oh, one day on the crusade ground no bring a Jesus for us here that we can prove here and now I'm praying that in this conference that God will so lavishly anoint us that the fear as to whether results will happen or not will live your life forever you see mastery is a possibility in the spirit if I meet some of our mothers right now some of the ladies here and I tell them come and prepare swallow for us because you have done it so many times and you know what to do you will not be afraid you are not embarrassed and I, no 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 all you need just give me time you must be that certain even in ministry that every time you come you know that God is going to bless I'm not talking of just one headache I'm not belittling miracles are you getting me every miracle is special but you see it is notable miracles that bring glory to the name of the Lord because we live in an arrogant world that will that tries to downplay God so two things will happen tonight the third has already happened we're going to allow a holy convocation of his presence in this place the rider upon the white horse let him ride through families let him ride through ministries let him ride through age-long situations and bring all kinds of tearsome miracles and then number two not only that the rider will ride heal and deliver and go away but there will be deposits of ancient graces upon men and women that you will carry supernatural abilities i trust that somewhere in the course of this meeting there will be a real impartation of graces some of you have seen them in dreams some of you are outside you've seen them in vision some of you have even seen these kinds of services in your dreams and visions now is the time for your heart to be open one last prayer and we we'll allow the lord to walk triumphantly in this place father every grace i must receive and every challenge that stands before me as an obstacle let it give way now please lift your voice and pray while you are praying begin to prepare your prayer requests please pre prepare your prayer request so that we'll just do it as one single sweep ushers authorized ushers can begin to move around and if you are here with your prayer request whilst we're praying and whilst the ministration starts do well to just tear it off and pass it whether in the offering basket or whatever it is and if you are yet to write you can write those online very quickly lift your voice and pray we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear so let it rain let it rain open the floodgates of The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing some persons with crutches crutches 
I don't know whether you are inside or outside. If you came with crutches, I'm seeing the power of God moving now. Crutches, whether inside or outside, lift it and try to walk. Lift it and try to walk. I'm seeing a revelation inside, outside. Lift it and try to walk. The miracle walking power of Jesus is in this place. Hallelujah. The Lord wants to rebuke. I don't know how we'll do it now. We'll have two stages. Look at this. Look at this. Lift it up, Mama. My God, are you seeing what is happening? Walk. Walk. Mama, how long has this been? How many years? Six years. Six years. How were you walking before? Show us how you were walking with the crutches. Show us how you were walking with the crutches. Just walk. Let's see how you were walking with the crutches. That's how you were walking with the crutches. Now lift it up and walk. Lift it up and walk, Mama. Lift it up and walk. My God. My God. Look at there's another miracle here. Lift it up. Lift it up. Look what is happening. Look what is happening. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Miracles are happening in a boy's sake. I decree and declare everyone on a crutch, inside, outside, lift it up and begin to walk by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mama, how long are, who is with the mic? Please help us so that we can, who is holding the mic? Please be sensitive. This, no, not you. Mr. Man. Mama, how long has this been? Since 2018. 2018? Yes. How were you walking before? Show us how you were walking with the crutches. This is how you came into this meeting. This is how you came. Now lift it up and walk. In the name of Jesus, this that the Lord has begun, let there be a perfection of this. In the name of Jesus, the Lord just opened my eyes. There is someone, I don't know whether it's your neck. You have a problem with you could not move it. I don't know whether you are inside or outside. Check right now the power of God has just touched you. Check it and run out very quickly. Please celebrate them as they return. Miracles happening by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection over your body. In Jesus name. Let's celebrate them. Very quickly. We are still praying. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Just, just leave them in the bowls. Please leave them in the bowls first. Because of the wind. Leave them in the bowls. We are praying. Now, I'm going to minister to people. I'm seeing the Lord was speaking about delay. We are about to pray. For those outside, you may not be able to come inside except if there's a word for you. But please, those under the anointing outside, you will take them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray. There are people here who have been victims of delay. The power of God is about to come on you. Please, those who are up the balcony, be careful. Don't come to the edges so you don't fall. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Ushers, please bring those people out here. 
in the name that is above all names every spirit that is causing delay in ministry in families i come by the rod of the higher priesthood at the count of three may fire fall upon them one two three take that fire i break that yoke i break that yoke bring them out whether you are an usher or not help them please whether you are an usher or not help them you are the covenant keeping god you are the covenant keeping god yahweh delay be broken in the name of jesus delay be broken in the name of jesus listen i'm not just praying for individuals this grace is coming on families too nobody has moved forward you want to move forward help her please shamakata at the count of three i want you to shout jesus as you shout that name every altar and everything that does not name the name of christ it must give way are you ready one two three shout jesus blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against them he nailed it to his cross every foul spirit that is not of god must give way now outside i stretch my hands outside may the fire of the holy ghost bring them out to the projector stand outside delay delay in achievements delay in accomplishments by the fire of the holy ghost be delivered right now upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and even holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions while still praying look up please and be sensitive ha. hear me there are horns that have lifted up themselves against ministries against families age long captivity i want to make a decree in the spirit lift up your heads oh ye gates shamandakata ancient gates of ancestry gates of limitations one more time you are going to shout jesus any covenant tie you down any cause tie you down it must give way now are you ready one two three shout jesus let them go release them release them help that lady please release them
Hallelujah. 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 All of you in front here, those in front of the projector screen, those following online, in the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I speak to every spirit that will not let you go. We come as those sent. Right now, release them and release their families. At the count of three, go, go, go. Release them, release their families in the mighty name of Jesus. Release their families. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Who is Ogechuku? Ogechuku. I'm hearing the name Ogechuku. You are wearing black. Ogechuku. Please, who is that person? Ogechuku. Come. Oh. There is still a gentleman I'm seeing. Your, your dress is shorthand like my own. Ogechuku. Who is that? What's, please let's very do we have the mic is it working help them please what's your name okay Chuku. okay Chuku. how about you i saw a lady who lifting her hand what's your name is that your name okay both male and female can bear it i want to pray oh i'm hearing a name author like author a r t u r or something like that author also is that someone's name where is that person please quickly let's just save time the lord wants to move in a mighty way right now in this place i want to pray for you what do you do huh business what business provision business provision yes, i want to pray for you yes sir. there is a grace for wealth that is coming on you amen you believe it yes sir that's why i'm here what do you do what well, i'm seeing you inside a farm farming a what farmer. do you do i'm a farmer sir you are a, a farmer you are a farmer yes sir i hope you know him before you now come and say you are faking farmer. it not everybody is faking this thing oh there are people who have paid their price with god let me i think i, I need to clarify it now so that you don't think that maybe everybody is um my friend i want to pray for you the way god will lift you using agriculture stand up it will surprise you amen in the amen. name of jesus christ amen. i stretch my hands to watch you may grace come on you in the name of jesus supernatural grace you go back and you experience empowerment in unusual dimensions in the name of jesus for my dear brother in business i pray for you amen. god will show you mercy amen. you will experience increase amen. in jesus name amen. my dear where is your dad he's late i need to pray for you because i'm seeing the same thing that happened to him wanting to happen to someone in your family i'm not a prophet of doom i want to pray for you where is mama she's in ebony but she's not here we have to pray every manifestation of death that is looking for your mom i'm not i'm not a prophet of doom in the name of jesus we cancel it right now I use this as a prayer for anybody here if the spirit of death is eyeing anybody's family in the name that is above all names we scatter that operation now my dear your family members are preserved in the name of jesus christ amen shame and reproach is taken away amen in jesus name amen the lord is showing me a vision and there's somebody you are holding photos on your hand I don't know who that person is come picture so I'm, I'm the lord is showing me someone now. i need to pray for the person we have to be fast because i want to pray for the sick miracle walking god is at work where are you coming from my friend from benway state sir from benway state you came from benway no yes sir whose photo are you holding it's my wife sir what's wrong with her she was attacked two weeks back. I rushed her to the hospital and God revived her. I need to pray. 
Do you know what we call Aleku? A L E K U. Yes, sir. This is like, huh? It's a deity, sir. It's a what? A deity. That's why I'm saying we have to pray. Blotting out every handwriting, the Bible says, and Amen. every ordinance that spoke against us, Amen. he nailed it to his cross. Amen. Every covenant you and your wife has with any deity other than Christ, we curse it right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There is a woman here, you've been married four years, no child. I'm hearing the sound of a child. Four years. Who is that person? Four years. Please don't just come out because you are looking for a child. Hear the specific word. Four years. Is there someone like that? Run. It's time for your shame to be rolled away. What's your name? Hold on, please. Hold on. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. What's your name? Mkiru. Huh? Mkiru. What's her name? There's an English name. Juliet. Juliet. This is what I'm hearing. Look at me. Stand up. How long have you been married? Four years. Four years. Is your husband here? No. <laughs> I'm praying for you in the open. Because by this time next year, you are coming back home with a testimony. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. Everything that represents barrenness. Let her come to. What's your name? Hold on. Is your husband here? Yes, he's outside. That's why, husband, come. The husband of divine. What's your name? Divine Inima. Come. Where is the? Please, let's hurry up. Let's save time. Is the man here? Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. Let me just pray for you. We may not be able to wait for our brother to come. My dear, look at me. Regardless what the situation is, Jesus is Lord. Don't be embarrassed. We're a family. Are we together now? Place your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God who is the giver of children, the God of Hannah, arise in power. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate you. What do you do, sir? You're a banker. Yes. Are you a banker? Yes, sir. What do you do? I'm a banker. What I'm bank? Sir. First bank. Yes, sir. What bank? First bank. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God lifting you. A very strange lifting. I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing you abroad and then coming back and then going back and then coming back. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. I declare by the Spirit of grace, carry your children and take your increase by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ my sister look at me in the name of Jesus shame and reproach is rolled from your life don't be embarrassed but what is in your stomach now that is stopping a child you understand what I'm saying I take it out of that stomach now You know what I'm you know what I'm talking yes, about yes. because the doctor told you what he said is right but in the name of Jesus we decree and declare a miracle right now <laughs> hallelujah God bless you please return to your seat very quickly I pray for you hold on please who is this one 
arranged it for me from London that I should go for this program, that I should go and intercede for her. She, uh, the, the baby is an autism patient. We have to pray. Yeah. They sent it from London. Yes, that sir. I should bring it for this yes, program. Yes. I actually told the mom that I'm here already. She was the one that asked me to come and present Father, him before the Lord. Let there be a miracle Father, for this our son. Supernatural healing Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Bring there is one lady and one guy, two of them will shout loud under the anointing now. Please carry two of them and bring here. Very loud shout to the hearing of everybody. Please bring them out. There's a reason why God is. You can go back to your seat. God bless you. Missing. Who is this? He's missing. It's my brother. He's, He's missing. missing. Yes, sir. Your brother or your husband? My younger brother. Your younger brother. How long? It's, it's about three, three weeks now. Three weeks? Yes, sir. He told you he's missing? Yes, sir. He's missing. Huh? Yes, sir. Did anybody call you? He's having mental challenges. Huh? He's having mental, mental challenges. So he's missing. I don't know where he is. No, he's alive. Something came on him and he started walking. This boy is somewhere. He's still within the city. In the name of Jesus, we call him back. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray. But don't worry, I will pray over this. I'm just responding to what God has said. Where is the gentleman and where is... He? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Young man, I pray for you. Oppression over your family. It comes to an end now. Be delivered now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Eugene. Eugene. I'm hearing a name Eugene. Like E-U-G. Eugene. Before I pray for the sick. Is there someone with that name? Inside, outside. Your name is Eugene. Let me just pray for you very quickly. I'm hearing the name Eugene. If you're following online, you can indicate you're following online. If you're in the overflow, you can indicate quickly. Otherwise, we'll just have to rush and then go. I want to pray for the sick now. We serve a mighty God. There's someone with such a name. What's his name? What's your name, sir? Eugene. I will pray for you but this is not the person i'm seeing in the spirit but i will pray either way because you have come what do you do sir i'm a pastor the name of jesus may the lord prosper the work he has given you i pray by the power of the holy spirit that god will open the eyes of your spirit and the eyes of your heart that you will comprehend even with in greater dimensions the things of the spirit and the mercy of the lord speak for you and your work Amen. in jesus name i pray Amen. god bless you but if there's no the eugene i'm seeing i don't know if you are this is like a female this is not i'm not seeing a male i'm seeing a female but we're going to pray how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. I'm seeing the name of a church. Something, is it? There is Christ and there's missions in it. Something, Christ, missions. Something, is there someone like that? With the name, I know there is Christ, there is missions. You are here. I don't know the name i didn't get the name accurately but let me know the name because i want to pray for you huh there is mission What's divine grace christ based mission international that's your church christ intimacy christ intimacy ah, i will pray for you it is your church? Yeah. Divine Grace, Christ-based mission. International. 
You're a sincere man, but I want to pray for you. I just saw the name. You believe in impartation, sir? Sure. Impartation is a transference of graces. Sure. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. And I declare, may the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the grace for signs, the grace for wonders, may that grace rest on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing four ministers of the gospel. Four of you here. There is a very strong healing anointing that is coming on you right now as I speak. Four. I will pray for everyone, but I'm seeing four people. The power of God will come on you. Four of you. You don't have to bring them out. Let's honor them. We don't have to drag them out. Four of them. Spirit of the living God. Four of you. Like the dew of heaven such a heavy unction coming on you right now in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you rest upon your ministry help them please in the name my god my god please help them so they don't injure themselves help this lady hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if this is the appropriate channel to say but with every sense of respect reverend vindiolu i just saw something like a plane it just come and picked you and you just entered into the sky i believe that you are stepping into a new face even in the ministry the walk in enugu this is what i just saw in a vision and father we agree over this your servant this veteran of the gospel as you have revealed so let it be in the name of jesus christ shakina assembly step into a new dimension a new dimension of exploits in the spirit in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god let's pray for the sick now now because of time listen please just hear the instruction three things we are going to do very quickly number one i'm going to minister to the sick and then number two we'll pray on the requests and then number three as we did yesterday um i will request two or three fathers alongside the bishop we're going to stand here and prophetically we are going to speak over the church and the body of Christ in a boy state. Are we together? That everything that is locked up in the grave, that it must come out at the instance of God's voice. And then finally we'll do the impartation and we're done. We're going to be very fast. Now please, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, just wave it and the ushers will see. Please ushers, if anyone is waving his request, quickly, quickly, inside, outside, just get it. And bring it out here now lay your hands where you are trusting God for a healing miracle we're going to celebrate miracles now this is what will happen listen we don't have all the time but the moment I rebuke this sickness I'm going to ask you to check yourself you already saw miracles happening for many of you you will be amazed to see mighty miracles that will happen to you as soon as you check yourself and you find out that there is a miracle Let's have one or two pastors here. I would request that you quickly run and come. We'll give a few of you room to testify to the glory of the Lord. Then we'll go into the prophetic session very quickly. Please lay your hands right now. You're trusting God for a miracle. Very quickly. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus. I believe, Jesus. There is healing in your name, Jesus. We believe. 
Jesus. I want you to agree with me with a very loud amen inside and outside. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil behind any infirmity, every spirit that is back of any disease, in the name of Jesus, we cast you out right now. By the blood of the eternal covenant, we cast you out right now. And I declare in Jesus' name, be healed. Be healed. Migraine headaches, be healed. Ulcers, help them, be healed. Fibroids, I command you to disappear right now. Blind eyes, partial blindness, complete blindness. I command those eyes be open now. Deaf ears, be open right now. Bone conditions, you're on a wheelchair, you're on crutches. After this prayer, stand up right now. After this prayer, stand up right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing people with severe back problems. Severe back problems along your lumbar vertebra. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Every kind of bone condition. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Genotype issues. We change that genotype now. Help them please. I'm seeing someone with a lump. I don't know if it's a growth around your neck. As I'm praying, it will deflate and disappear right now. In the name of Jesus. HIV. Be healed now. Inside, outside, cancers. Be healed now. The Lord is healing hepatitis B. Someone with hepatitis B, the Lord is healing you right now. Hotness in your body, whether it's cold or heat, you just feel as if they are setting your body on fire. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. Now, there is someone the Lord is showing me frequent urination. You can urinate in one hour so many times it's even an embarrassing thing but right now as i'm praying the power of god is touching you you don't have to just drag them out please make sure those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out again there are several ladies i'm seeing a lump for a particular one i'm seeing a lump in fact multiple lumps your left the left side of your breast after this prayer, that devil leaves your body now. Oh yes, it's happening. There is a miracle happening now. There's someone, I don't know, something happened to your shoulder. I don't know if it's an accident or something. And you were not able to move your shoulder very well. After this prayer, I want you to move it now. I'm seeing someone outside. You don't see very far. You can't see light very far. After this prayer, a miracle is happening to you. Hey. The Lord is showing me a woman. Your, your menstrual cycle is irregular and prolonged. It can come any day and it can last for no matter how long. This has caused you a lot of problems, weakness in the body. In the name of Jesus, as I'm praying, the power of God is coming on you right now. Amen. Everyone here who is standing in for someone who is sick, whether they are in the hospital, may the angel of the Lord's presence go to every hospital in every nation and bring supernatural healing right now. Amen. 
very severe case of migraine you wake up with it you sleep with it the power of god is touching you right now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the christ of god be healed now be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head high blood pressure is being healed right now i'm seeing a thermometer moving up and down high blood pressure be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now in fact the lord is showing me someone even before you came for this program going to use the toilet is a very painful experience because it's almost as if you are stooling blood this is an advanced case of pile pile in the name of jesus the power of god is touching you right now Amen. now very quickly we have just five minutes inside and outside i want you to check yourself do what you couldn't do as we celebrate jesus the moment you find a miracle run quickly to the frontier right now there are miracles happening everywhere those coming from outside if it's for a miracle allow them look at miracles happening celebrate miracles eh, boy. check yourself and come check yourselves and come those coming from outside allow them my god are you celebrating what jesus is doing here the moment you find yourself healed touch please make your way to the front make your way to the front and i'm speaking to a man of god here and a woman of god what you are seeing happening in this conference may you carry that same grace to your altar may you carry that same may you carry that same grace to your altar come this sunday fire upon your altar keep coming please someone just verify check them and then we'll have a few testimonies very quickly my god miracles are happening those of you online connect by faith very quickly we have five minutes sir she has had asthma for so many years asthma yes Today, for how long my dear more than 15 years more than 15 years what happened to you tonight the pain disappeared I fell completely yes. run check if there's any pain run, 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 run. breathe in and out any pain come on a boy he said celebrate jesus it will never return to you again i stretch my hands you are healed you are healed forever in jesus name yes please her eyes have been itching since 2014 itchy eyes for how long since 2014 2014 what happened tonight it's no longer dead. completely it's no longer what's your name favor favor may your name speak for you in the name of jesus those itchy eyes go now by the power of the holy ghost in jesus name go ahead yes please very Sir, quickly she has been having myopia from birth myopia okay this evening. what's your name my dear Mercy Wilson. for how long she's crying oh dear from birth. from birth what couldn't you see why don't you separate the people into two so that one can stand here one can stand here man of god you can stand here and then so that you can just alternate look the lady is crying see let me tell you this brothers and sisters listen to me when miracles happen it's more than just showing that a man is anointed it's a revelation of the love of jesus and it's a revelation of the power and the might of the almighty are we together my dear and right now what happened to you myopia from birth i was trying to see you i you were trying to see me in the morning while you were leaving. give her the mic yes please in the morning when you were going i had the direction that you just go and look at your face i was begging the pastor to allow me to see your face what, yes what happened now and then when i was praying that i just looked from far for the first time in my life i could see somebody from far. my god <laughs> wow 
the mighty God. I stretch my hands. Put your hands on your eyes. Right now, I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost to your eyes. Perfection. Help this person in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Apostle, this man's hand was broken April this month, this year. Broken but elbow. you pray? God restored the hand. Completely. Yes. Check yourself. Any pain. Do what you couldn't do. Lift it up. Down. Up. Down. Elbow in. Are you celebrating Jesus? Apostle, also, he came with ulcer. You came with ulcer also. Ah. And the Lord delivered him here. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. You will never go back with this pain again. Yes, sir. This young girl had multiple well, a lung. Multiple lungs. Multiple lung. Breast lung. On your neck. Oh, for how long? Since and now. Check it. No pain. The lungs are gone. Jesus. Everything my father has not planted in your life. In the name of Jesus, let it be uprooted now. Yes, sir. Sir, you mentioned somebody with a shoulder problem. He has shoulder been, problem? Yes, for four years. How, what's your name, sir? Ebenezer. Ebenezer. How long? Four years. Which one? Which of the shoulders? Check yourself. Any pain? It's gone. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Ghost. My God, there are so many miracles. Apostle, this guy here had an accident a few, days, a few years ago. You had an accident? Could not Where? move the hand now, but could move it after the prayer. Where? Shoulder. Please show, Shoulder. give him the mic. Shoulder. For how long? Since 216, sir. 216? Yes, sir. You had an accident? Yes, sir. And right now? Yes, sir. Come lift it up. Please. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Celebrate Jesus. It will never, never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. So in March, you did evacuation. In uh, March? Yes. You did an evacuation. The okay. Pain had been there. Even they had to repeat the process last oh week. Oh my God. And she couldn't see, she couldn't stand. Please give, don't cry. What happened to you? Last week, I have a baby. Use the me. mic. Last week. No, I don't collect it. Just, just, okay. Last week, I was pregnant four months. Then in the dream, I had a dream where I was menstruating. After my prayers in the morning, blood started coming out. I went for evacuation. After the, going the process of evacuation, uh, my waist, I could not sit down. The uterus was... After the evacuation uh, now? Yes, the uterus was paining me. Then I went back to the hospital. They wrote some drugs, drugs for me. Yes. Then I came, I was take, taking it. Something like blood was coming out from my body. Then I went back to the hospital. They sent me for Trasan. And they said they did not do the evacuation very well. That I'm not... I'm, now going inside the uh, theater for another evacuation but it's not the uh, process we take the daughter they're going to use machine to go be the glory they use the machine but i cannot sit down the uterus will be a pain in me what if, happened now if even as i was coming i could not say oh god i don't want to come back to to my house with this pain and i as i was there i was sitting there you were outside yes i was sitting there because i could not stand then as the prayer was going on i told god remember the promise thou had but man i can't stand. bend I can't check stand. yourself bend down any pain come on there boy are you celebrating the god of miracles my dear place your hand on your stomach according to the time of life i prophesy to you Go and return with your child. There is no power in existence that will stop this prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. God bless you. Yes, you please. mentioned someone pile. 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 Yes. How long, my friend? It's been more than a year, sir. It's been more than a year. And what happened to you now? Sir, I'm here by faith. That I know that I'm healed. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine? Because I can't actually test it now. So I'm here by faith. Okay, lay your hands on your lay your hands on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ. While you are a spirit, you have a name. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Leave this gentleman now. Go now and go forever. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, please. He's been having prolonged menstrual period. Since prolonged menstrual period. Yes. How long? Since fourth till yesterday, I've been bleeding. And it's just till fourth. Uh, it was just it's women that will understand how evil this kind of thing is and it's been making me very weak even i came with a drip it makes you very weak very weak i came with a drip is this mic working she came on drip oh you came with a drip 
to this crusade ground. My God, where is it? The drip is outside. Run. Any weakness in your body now? Jesus. Jesus. Hello, Madonna. My dear, look at me. Stand up. In the name of Jesus, whatever is responsible for this prolonged period that is leading to weakness in your body, we curse it now by the God of heaven. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We may not, my God, there are so many testimonies, we may just take maybe two, two or three, three more and then we'll have to stop so that we can walk with time. Are we alright? But you just wait, I have to pray for everybody. So let's take a few two or three very notable ones yes sir apostle you mentioned someone with eyesight problems she eyesight is far yes she's here testifying that god has hid her my god what's your name my dear tochuku tochuku yes sir. how long since 2012 i wear glasses but when i was coming for this program i i didn't carry my glasses because they got broken on thursday okay so when you said we should check ourselves i opened my eyes and i used to look at the the people upstairs and it, the vision was blurry you couldn't see those upstairs it was blurry but looking at them now they are, it's so you are seeing them clearly very, oh come on very, very oh come on what are you turning to wine you open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you None like you That's what Jesus is doing in a boy state It's into the darkness you cry Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you None like you Celebrate Jesus Our God is greater Awesome in power, our God. In the name of Jesus, may this miracle remain permanent for the rest of your life. Yes, sir. Very quickly, sir. Okay. She had hemorrhoids since 2018. She, had, she had what? Hemorrhoids. Okay, okay. And she had been even stupid. Oh, my God. But now she's okay. My Heal dear, sound. look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you. Not only hemorrhoid, but I rebuke depression. By the power of the holy spirit it will never be part of your life and i declare healing let it be permanent in your life in jesus name i pray amen let's have one more from here and this lady hotness of the body why you mentioned it for four years her whole body has always been hot but now each time it comes it dries me and look as if i'm not feeding when it comes it dries her up as if she have not been feeding but now she is okay in the name of jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit this healing this miracle remains permanent for you in Jesus name I pray yes sir this lady came in here with severe neck and shoulder pain neck and shoulder pain yes but why you mention her case my God got delivered yourself check your neck shoulder any pain completely gone in Jesus name it remains so Amen. permanent Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit can we have two or three more very quickly and then we're done his father went to the village his father could not walk his father could not walk yes okay go ahead go ahead on saturday evening he, yes he was since saturday he has not been able to walk but while you are praying here they called him to say that the father all of a sudden from the village <laughs> my god what village is that What's the name of the village? Oincha local government. Huh? Oincha local government. Where? Oh, I, 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 Onicha. Onicha local government. government. No matter how far what you are looking for is, if the power of God can leave a boy and go to Onicha, then I declare, may favor live where it is and come to you. 
may lift and live where it is and come to you. May destiny help us live where they are and come to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. That healing and that miracle remains permanent. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Yes, please, very quickly. Yes, he has been having, his visions are blocked. Since, two, since he was in now, SS2 Are you noticing that you see When you see the frequency of a miracle There is a message in it Are you seeing that the miracle of clarity Of visions There is a prophetic message in it This is how you discern miracles It's not just God is speaking to the body That he's opening you up to a clearer dimension Of spiritual illumination This is how you profit from miracles More than the personalities that receive their miracles there is always prophecy attached to it. If you don't discern the prophetic message, you wasted the testimony. Yes, please. So right now he can see. Completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. It remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Yes, please. This young man entered there with heart palpitation. Heart palpitation. Yes. My God. But while you prayed, the Lord set him free. Completely. Completely. My brother, I pray for you. This remains permanent in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last. Yes, please. Sir, for the past two years, she couldn't hear from her ears. It's like, which of them? She says, two of them, as if there's darkness. I don't understand. Okay. This. But now, she can hear. What happened to you? Sir, I was sick. Then, so it develops. You know, in... Honestly, in this, in this small work I've had with God, I've seen all kinds of situations. One time I was in a crusade in Shiroro. It was a PFN crusade. And that was the first time I saw such a dramatic manifestation of evil. There was a line of at least, I hope I'm not exaggerating, 12 or 13 women. Every time they give birth in that region, they become deaf and dumb immediately. Like a child comes out, immediately you can't hear, you can't talk. I prayed for a few people and I noticed it was a trend. The pastors were trying to push their members and I said, no, this one is not a healing situation now. Whenever you see a widespread occurrence of a deficiency, there are spirits, controlling powers that are making this happen. Put your hands, both of them, in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. I speak to those ears. Even as they are open now, they remain open in the name of Jesus Christ. They remain open in Jesus' name. Now for all who have received a miracle, I sincerely apologize because of time. I know you would want to testify. But whether you are in here or outside, many following online, in the name of Jesus Christ, these miracles that you have received, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, they remain permanent in Jesus' name. They remain permanent in Jesus' name. They remain permanent in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Very quickly, please, let's rise. Everyone, let's rise. Bring the prayer request now. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Please give it to us, media. We're about to pray. Please turn it. please make sure you are very spiritual inside and outside let your gaze be on jesus as we pray philippians chapter 4 media we still together philippians 4 and verse 6 let me just quote it for time's sake the bible says be anxious for nothing Many versions say be careful. The word care there does not mean responsibility. It means anxiety. Be anxious for nothing, the Bible says. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. It says let your request be made known. Don't assume God knows it. Let your request be made known. Let your request be made known. Let your challenges be made known let your desires be made known mark chapter 11 when you read from verse 24 
it says verily verily i say unto you what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it we receive in prayer then we have it as a manifestation you cannot have what you have not received you must receive then you have hallelujah now very quickly for the sake of time I believe that God answers prayers number one from the authority of scripture I believe God answers prayers because we have patriarchs that have gone ahead of us and their lives have proven that God is a prayer answering God but I believe God answers prayers because I have a covenant of answered prayers with God the Lord granted me the privilege and the grace not very long ago to be alone lying down and crying in the prayer room of daddy Jew. our father papa adeboe and when i lay down there there was only one prayer i said lord the covenant of answered prayer that you have with this man for the sake of the generation i am sent to may that same grace and may that same mantle come upon my life that was my prayer not just for myself so that we can have real results in the body we can have genuine testimonies my altar calling you oh god my sacrifice is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god take my praise oh god even when we prophesy we see in part and so we prophesy in part even when we teach we only teach according to the measure of the grace that is given to us your prayer request here is the most accurate expression of your needs and desires and as i bow my knees like paul would do over the church of ephesus i just want you to stretch your hands here and let's agree as a family of faith the body of christ in a boy the body of christ in the east of the niger lord arise in power visit this request you don't have to kneel i will do the kneeling or you just stretch your hands and let's pray go ahead make sure your prayer request is here Jesus Christ.
father every request here standing in faith with all the fathers of faith in a boy state standing in faith with all the veterans of the gospel here at the east of the niger we stand as a united body and we turn every request here to a testimony every request we turn to testimonies in the name of jesus christ every emergency situation here receive help from the throne every human agent that must be used to make this prayer request be turned into testimonies we command them to appear now in the name of jesus hey. hear me anyone who says over his dead body for these prayers to be answered may the earth open and swallow them hey. in the name of jesus christ now listen to me part of the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic and by extension the fivefold ministry is to help the body of christ attain the unity of the faith please listen to me church of the lord jesus christ east of the niger church of the lord jesus christ Ebony state the days of fighting one another the days of backbiting the days of competitive jealousy the great the days of discussing men before mentees to spite them let's roll those days and let them go forever because it's a new season now listen to me in truth we are not all the same we are equal in christ but our levels of spiritual sacrifices our levels of spiritual enlightenment alongside the kinds and the dimension of grace that is at work in us has separated us into cadres of possibilities that is true however in the midst of all the differences there is a dimension of the revelation of jesus that cannot be revealed with one man no matter how accurate you are it will take the corporate body standing Yes, I know that there are people here who have character challenges. There are people here who are still in the school of the spirit, going through the refiner's fire to prune them. But listen to me. Younger ministers show profound, unashamed honor to the fathers of faith within your city and within the region. Do not be part of the ignorance and the childishness sweeping the body of Christ where you tear down men of God. Do not be the ones to injure wounded soldiers. When our soldiers fall, we must stand by them with honor. We must stand by them with joy. We do not only rise together, we fall together. That is the spirit of unity. Don't go around gossiping and speaking about another man of God. Don't use your pulpit as a platform to tear down people. If God has shown you a measure of light, let the body benefit from it whoever criticizes you no problem leave them with prayer in hope that god will open their eyes tomorrow let us help one another and stand as a united force it is true that together we stand it is also true that divided we fall let the younger generations that are coming not mentor rubbish from us let us be careful what we are teaching these people as they come do not teach them that dishonor is profitable. Do not teach them that indiscipline is profitable. There are protocols and patterns in this kingdom. We must pres preserve the ancient landmark. Let's be honest to tell them how the power came upon us. Don't over pamper them to the point where they become powerless. Let them fast. Let them pray. It does not kill. Younger ministers, don't admire a man of God's current result alone. Find out the process and go through that. Don't sit down, lying down on cars, claiming them. No, faith is not foolishness. Trust God for grace. Grow with dignity. Grow with diligence. 
those of you who serve in ministries don't cause pain to men of god serve with all your heart the leaders may not be perfect people but can you endure for the sake of what is before you don't serve a man and laugh and say yes sign the open and behind you are saying god forbid if your pastor is not working in the way that you think should be your first assignment is to protect him in the place of prayer lord open his eyes that he will see these are instructions that help the body within a territory to stand strong are we together fathers in as much as god has helped us to be great men let us not spite the younger ones because sometimes in a bid to show all their immaturity and spiritual tantrums a father is one who is prepared to receive a lot of nonsense from children that's what makes you a father they will disobey they will rebel they will be childish they will discover their mistakes tomorrow they will come back again that's what makes you abba the maturity to be able to endure all those blows and still have love we must create a platform for people to also rise we are not the only ones that god called there are still many others coming and hear me to those who are about to start ministry many of you are still in the cave of adula stay there with honor don't allow anybody graduate you from the school of the spirit prematurely just because they call you to lead a prayer just because you were invited to sing in a crusade when you are done rush back to that cave and remain there and john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing are we blessed the body of christ in a boy state must begin to grow and contend for light prayer ministries don't fight ministries with excellence and administration ministries with excellence and administration don't fight teaching ministries power ministries don't fight ministries that are called to do certain things that you feel are of lesser value everybody in the body of christ is important because of the charismatic manifestation of the gift of the spirit we may seem to esteem others more than others but it is only from the lens of god's heart we really know those who are great in this kingdom it is not really the joshua selmans it is the silent intercessors that we don't see them on tv they are the ones that carry greater weight in the spirit we must be matured enough and unashamed enough to not only know this but let the body of christ know this that we who stand and seem to pioneer dimensions who are only products of the mercy and the grace of god we must be unashamed about advocating that mercy let the younger ones learn well let's not be afraid to rebuke and correct them don't feel insecure they deserve the discipline that makes for mighty men are we together at this juncture let me invite the fathers two or three as a representation of the church in the east we are going to stand here have been the fathers are going to declare and call upon the god of heaven that there will be blessings upon the land that there will be increase we pray during the minister session are we together now please while we do that receive with all your heart even if the father happens to be your brother forget the issue of relationship now and focus elijah said if you see me as i'm taking off hallelujah please let's welcome the fathers that should be here let's honor them and and the mic quickly please praise the name of the lord now dearly beloved bless you let's honor him the chairman of pfn here yeah? thank you thank i you, want sir. you to keep doing something praise the lord of god our man now god, apostle, watch this Jesus. listen please everyone is, i want you to keep we on praying for him are going the to cause them the mic the gospel may have and they are going to pray now there are other men of God. I hope you know that. This may not just be. There are other fathers. There are other veterans. Some are not even seated at the minister's seat. Some are outside. We honor you for what you stand. 
and then this is just a representation it is not to ignore your grace we are not foolish we know there are prophets there are apostles there are veterans of power seated and scattered here in the comments bringing people out is by no means demeaning you it's just for the sake of time and because of the prophetic acts that we have however please for the first time if need be let's hide our differences and receive as one body keep the differences revelation here you believe this you don't believe this jesus wants to move again in the east of the niger he wants to move again in a boy state let's give him room to find expression yes sir father in the name of jesus we thank you thank you for visiting us at such a time as this father we pray that every prophecy you have released concerning the kingdom work in the east that we see them come to pass in our lives the eastern gate is open for this movement for the prophetic move for the apostolic move amen for great impact amen the eastern gate is open to the miraculous to signs and wonders from today signs and wonders will accompany our ministry in the name of jesus Amen. Yes, sir. father we want to thank you because according to your design and purpose in this period this season you have looked upon nigeria and upon southeast and you put your focus on Ebony to steer up a revival that will steer the east steer nigeria and steer africa and move the whole world to a new dimension let that work begin now Amen. in the name of jesus let the grave open and let the resurrection power move mightily push young men push young women move them into their destiny let our eyes be open in the mighty name of jesus amen in the name of jesus most high god we have been crying for revival we have called upon you in this land that the time for visitation must come many of your true servants have labored with no proof or result many of your true servants are discouraged that you promised me lord that the ark will come into the house of obed edom When I heard your servant, apostle is coming into this town, you told me the ark has come. That this city and this state will never be the same again. Father, every prophetic utterance that has been released through his own mouth concerning this land, we join our faith with his to declare it is done in the name of Jesus. Ebony State will never be the same again. The fire of revival has already been ignited in you. This fire shall burn and proceed beyond the states. In the name of Jesus. You told me that out of this conference, arrows will be shot in different dimensions not just within the church but into other sphere of life that the art of this conference 10 years 20 years 30 years to come people shall say it was in this place that jehovah they were shot like arrows i therefore stand as their son as their servant to declare that a new dawn has begun in this land 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. He has not entered into the mind of anyone. What you have already done in our midst. That we shall live to see all these things come to pass. In Jesus supernatural name we have prayed. Amen. I stand on the efficacy of their prayers pray on this platform. From us on this platform and from you all on this side. I stand on the scriptures the word of God. Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 Hear the word Eboi Hear the word shout east because you've been obedient to the word of my patience because you have followed my word because you heeded my word I will keep you so says the scripture I will keep you I will keep you in every hour of temptation Lord Fight our battles. Lord, disgrace whatever that tries to disgrace us. Oh Lord, may doors of ministry open to us in this land of faith extending to the rest of the states in the name of Jesus. By the word of God, we declare surplus in our land. All those that imagine that we will cry, they will be disappointed. Good is coming to you. Promotion is coming to you. The reign of miracle is yours. People of, people of God, from all over southeast, raise your voices and shout the loudest amen of tonight. Amen. 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 So let's honor our fathers. Thank you, sirs. Thank you. Let's honor them as they quickly go back. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, you can come just pack this. Now, I just want to pray just a few minutes and we're done. One of the things that must happen in every meeting is that there must be men and women that God will raise, God will empower. We had an anointing session in the morning for the pastors. But it's important that when we come to a land like this, haven't spoken. There must be a deposit of divine grace that will enable the body of Christ to make progress. This is why God anointed us and our fathers have spoken. I hope you know that this meeting is not just for a boy in state. This is one of the prophetic pointers towards the southeast. God is speaking to the southeast. This will not be the only meeting. There will be many more stationed across several regions of the southeast and god will be speaking to the southeast show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the way of Jesus we want to enter your end 
Will you show us the ancient path? Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. You don't have to bring anybody out as I pray. Our fathers can please remain seated. They've been standing for a long time. Let's honor them. But in the name of Jesus, a grace for prayer. There are dimensions of prayer that you must trust God to step into if you really want to do much with God in this season. I stretch my hands by the privilege of the election of grace. That altar of prayer, may that grace come upon you now. Shout Amen. May that grace come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. The grace to fast. The grace to pray. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 3. Apostle Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus. And he said, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery. Listen to me. There are certain dimensions of revelations you don't study. It's a body of truth you are initiated into by the Spirit. No matter how studious you are, there are things you cannot see until you are shown. In the name of Jesus, the grace for revelation, access to light. Take that grace now. Access to light. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just help them. There are prophets that must arise in this city. I don't know where they are. But I stretch my hands as the sword of the spirit. Inside this auditorium and outside. Help them. Everybody called into this grace. Hear that clarion call. Arise by the power of the Holy Ghost. My head, thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. Men and women, the eyes that see and the ears that hear. Shalakata bakata. The eyes that see, the ears that hear. The Lord is showing me an eagle moving across this auditorium. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. Every altar, ministerial altar in a boy state that has gone cold because of discouragement has gone cold because of weariness we set every altar on fire again amen there are those of you who are called into the evangelistic but because of fear will god confirm my words with signs following i declare carry the grace for evangelistic fire amen There are women that will arise in this city in the order of Deborah. There are women like Anna the prophetess. There are Esthers. I stretch my hands. Every woman that has a prophetic assignment in this end time agenda, whether you are inside or outside, the grace for God's prophetic assignment on you. Take that grace in Jesus name. There are kingdom financiers that must arise in this season. Men and women that will be trusted with the wealth of the kingdom. For the sake of kingdom come. 
I don't know where you are. You may be a businessman. You may be a politician. But I stand before the God of my covenant. May the grace that lifts men financially for the sake of the kingdom. May that grace rest upon you now. If there is any pastor here who is under attack demonic attack to kill your ministry to make you a reproach in the land we call upon the God of mercy as the body of Christ may mercy speak towards your life Amen. I pray for every church every prayer group no matter how big no matter how small every prophetic and apostolic platform every arm of spiritual expression as far as it supports kingdom come let fresh fire rest on those altars Amen. hear me the controlling powers over the spiritual territory of eboy i come by the road of the apostolic and the prophetic I speak to gates and altars. Lift up your heads, all ye gates. Be lifted up, all ye ancient doors. The doors that seem to close for the gospel. The doors that seem to close for the advancement of the kingdom. We scatter those gates now. We pray for the government of this city. May God provide wisdom. Amen. May God provide wisdom. Amen. Members in the House of Parliament, politicians, those who represent the people, the grace to work with integrity. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for every family represented here. By the power of the Holy Ghost shame and reproach no matter how long it has been may it be far from you in Jesus name Amen. every family here that is still into idol worship that is still into idolatry may God open their eyes to see Jesus Amen. encounters visionary encounters Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. the sound of war may it not be heard within the borders of your city Amen. the sound of bloodshed may it not be heard within the borders of your city Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen hear me anyone and any family here appointed to death that there are yokes and patterns of death every year someone must die every two two years someone must die i stand in partnership with the veterans of the gospel here we declare an end comes to the reign of evil Amen. regardless the man of god regardless the church father everyone who names your name in this city use them mightily Amen. everyone who names your name in the east of the niger use them mightily Amen. in the name of jesus christ and lord we pray may a boy never lack men and women who are rising and on fire for Jesus Amen. let me pray for those of you who are still in the cave of Adullam do not be discouraged may the good hand of God continue the training for you Amen. grace and discipline to stay while being trained in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. the mistakes the fathers have made you will not make Amen. The mistakes we have made you will not make Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. finally we pray 
let there be such a wind of revival listen from the length the breadth the east the south the north of a boy state once again may the fire that some of you have not even seen in a long time may that fire return again amen in the name of jesus amen and let me please pray there are men of god here who travel from everywhere oka onicha enugu men of god who are not domiciled within the land but they have come to stand in partnership this is the clearest expression of the unity of the faith in the name of jesus the same fire the same grace the same support Amen. let it follow you back to your station Amen. in the name of jesus the christ of god and like our fathers have declared like they have prayed may nothing disunite the body of christ in this city Amen. the grace to look beyond your weaknesses for the sake of his majesty and only focus on jesus may that grace be released on you amen let's pray for the students there are students here the grace to not join cult groups useless vices that destroy the lives of great people we we put a seal on you and we separate you from it amen every student here the grace to finish strong Amen. all the institutions of learning around those who are in final year we release grace the finishers anointing finish well in the name of jesus christ Amen. father everything you desire to do in a boy state and everything you desire to do all across the east we stand in partnership as we wrap up this conference in partnership with all the vessels here present and connected by faith and we declare maranatha come in the name of jesus amen 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 to your will and your ways amen 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 for the outpouring of the spirit one last time Amen. 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 I forgot to pray this one prayer. The grace for miracles, signs, and wonders. There must be someone in this place who came for that grace. I stretch my hands from the depth of my spirit as many as desire this grace inside outside i pray for you carry that grace right now carry it to the crusade grounds carry it to your churches carry it to your groups carry it to your homes signs and wonders and miracles in the name of jesus christ one more time a boy he said I love you from the depth of my heart. The fathers and the veterans of faith in a boy state, east of the Niger, thank you for your warm reception. The Lord increase you. May you go from glory even to glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, 
We believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.